For this project, I am making a corduroy skirt. I found this pattern on Etsy, and it is McCall's M5146, and I just love all the illustrations that it gives on the front. Um, just showing you how you can use the different pattern pieces to create different skirts. And some are using solid colors and some are using patterns. And just looking at all these skirts just got my, my mind going. And um, I started to think how can I use, you know, maybe florals with solid colors. So what I decided was that I would use a a dark brown color with a floral and I found these um, this material on Etsy um, and I'm using dark brown for the top and then I'm using a floral for the next layer and the dark brown again for for the next layer and on the bottom for the ruffle I am using the floral again um, I had a really hard time finding exactly the floral and the dark brown colors that I wanted, but I finally found a supplier on Etsy. Um, it was overseas, so it took about a month for the fabric to arrive, um, but I'm really pleased when, when it did. Um, I think the colors are going to work really well. Um, the floral has different, different colors. Um, that are going to work well with all kinds of, of different tops. So I am very excited to, to get going on, on this project and see how it turns out. This pattern did not come with a pocket and I do love pockets in my skirts. So I borrowed a pocket from a different pattern that, that I have and you can certainly use any pocket pattern or you can even make your own um, depending on how big you like your pocket um, and to get started sewing what I'm doing is an overlock stitch and I'm gonna do this stitch um, over all the edges of, of the pattern pieces and I do this to prevent fraying um, depending on your material um, Doing a stitch of the edges may, may be really crucial. Um, this particular corduroy, it isn't fraying too much, um, but I think an overlock stitch is just a really, really good idea, um, just in, in case it decides to, to fray as, as I'm working with it. So this is what I am doing is an overlock stitch over the um, edges of the material.
The top part of the skirt ended up being four inches too long. So I'm left with this kind of a mass of, of fabric. Um, the simplest option would of course be to just cut it off and um, just sew it down. Um, that would certainly be the easiest way. Um, the other option would be to just lay it flat and, and press it um, and, and just sew, sew down the, the material. That is certainly an option. I, I thought that would, that would look okay, but a little bit boring. And I was thinking, this is such a fun skirt with all of the different flowers and the colors. And I thought, you know, this is a really good opportunity to try something a little bit unique. Um, maybe learn, learn something new and really kind of test the, the bounds of, of my abilities as, as a sewer. Um, so what I did is I pulled out the art of manipulating fabric and this book is written by Colette Wolf and I just love this book for all of its ideas and as I was paging through I came across this particular illustration and what this is is a puffed trim. I'm, I'm guessing that this puff trim might be designed for, um, for curtains and, and things like that. But I thought, you know what, I could, I could use this kind of concept for, for this massive <laughs> fabric that, that I'm left with. So um, I took the basic idea and um, I kind of made it my own. So let's get going.